Hey there guys, what's up? Happy almost end of 2017. Okay, so this bath bomb is from a new to me company. This one is from Elixation Bath and Beauty. And this one is called Champagne Celebration. I thought when I saw this one, it would be an absolute perfect bath bomb to do for a New Year's Eve demo. The base is, of course, a bath bomb. It's super, super shimmery. And the ice is soap and the champagne bottle is bubble bar. So it has a little bit of everything and it is scented of course in champagne. So she sells off of her Facebook page and I've had my eye on her work for a while but I haven't made a purchase until now. But I'm glad that I did and I will have all of her links listed down below. So definitely go ahead and check her out when you're done with the demo, watching the demo. And um, so I'm excited to go ahead and do this. We will do the soap and the bubble bar last. But let's go ahead and um, We'll take that out and do the bath bomb first and see what this can do. Now, I did not tell you guys this. I don't think this is scented in champagne, if that wasn't obvious. And my water has cooled off a good bit because I was having problems with my tub, actually. Actually, it was my, my lights, my breaker. Actually, it was my tub, my, <laughs> it was my jacuzzi lights, my, um, my light switches, my electrical outlets, so I had to um, kind of fix my breaker. So I had to let my water sit for a little while before I started my demo. So um, my bath water isn't as warm as I would like for it to be, but it does not look like it's stopping this little show of what I'm assuming is fireworks. So pretty. Very, very pretty. So to me, this looks like fireworks in the night sky. Very, very pretty. And it smells really nice and strong. It is really pretty. It is, um, is that fizzy scent, but it's, it's sweet at the same time, like champagne. Super festive, super festive. It's still got some, still got some blue coming out of it. Still sparkling on top. And the top of the water over here looks sparkly as well and it's still got a little bit of color on top. Definitely some blue still coming out of there. Now that's cool. It looks like it's filling up similar to a coffin bomb, which I love. Very cool. Super cool. Now, I did talk to Brianne, she's the owner of the company, and she says that she likes to make her creations and then move on. She doesn't like to remake and remake a lot of the same things over and over again. So, if you do see something that you like on her Facebook page, you probably need to grab it up because I don't know that she, um, she will be making the same thing again and be restocking the same things um, over and over again, if that makes sense. And I will follow my own advice on that. So I will definitely be looking at her page on a regular basis to make sure that I don't miss something that I think is super cute and that I really want to have. Oh, 
All right, so I think our champagne celebration is mostly fizzed out, and it looks really, really dark. It looks like a super dark, um, like a Merlot, but it's really, it's darker than that, but it's really, really dark and pretty. It um, seems to be super sparkly from what I can tell. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it does look super sparkly, which makes sense because it is a festive New Year's Eve type or celebration type of bath bomb. So and it smells really, really strong and really, really good. So let's go ahead and do the champagne bottle and soap. And I'm gonna do it in a little different way and I'm gonna tell you about it before I turn on the bubbles so you can hear me. Um, she gave me a little nylon bag to use, which is actually similar to the way I did my very first bubble bar on here. Um, it ties on to your faucet. I don't know that it's gonna tie onto mine because it's curved, but if you have a traditional bathtub and the faucet is kind of straight on the top, um, it will tie on the top and usually should have a little spout and it should just tie around the top and you just let it hang and the water, you'll see, um, the water just, um, just runs over the bubble bar and you don't even have to hold a strainer or anything like that. I have seen them done like that before. So she gave me one of those and I don't know if she um, sends those with her bath bombs um, and bubble bars or not, or her bubbling bath bombs, but I'm going to do that that way because she um, she gave me a little nylon bag. Ooh, look at the sparkle. Look at, oh, so, so pretty. So yeah, we're going to do it this, we're going to do it that way today because, um, I don't know, we're just going to be different because there is more than one way. There are a lot of different ways to do bubble bars, so we're going to do it that way today. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get to the bubbles. The bubble bar part smelled really super citrusy, so the scent is even a little bit stronger now. But that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. I also had to let a little bit of the water out of my tub because I tend to accidentally put a little too much water in my tub when I do bubble bars because I forget how many bubbles I'm going to get when I turn on the jets. So it does look like it's going to have a lot of nice and festive fluffy bubbles in there. Okay, so I guess I will just hop in the shower because it looks like it's going to be really nice and do exactly what it said that it was supposed to do. So I will let you guys know how it was when I get out. I can't wait and I will get back to you just in a minute. So this is the final result for my champagne celebration bath. I was in there quite a while. So there is a little pigment down in the bottom and there was tons of shimmer in the water. So there's a little glitter down there too. Um, not too much stuck to my skin. There is a little bit on my skin, but the scent was really nice and strong. So it is lingering in my bathroom and on my skin as well. This is a really pretty, nice, dark color bath. So that was cool and there was bubbles. 
So definitely check out her shop. The links will be listed down in the description box below. If I don't talk to you guys again before the end of the year, Happy New Year and definitely check out my channel in 2018 because I will have a lot of new fun things for you guys to see next year. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot, you guys. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next year. Bye-bye.